Hey everyone, and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom, I should say, but actually welcome back to my house build. Today we are going to build our brand new kitchen. And um, it's, you know, it's not really 100% secure that this is going to be our kitchen, but the end result is going to be pretty close to how it's gonna look in the real world. Unfortunately, there is obviously no comparison image uh, available for you, simply because the kitchen uh, is going to be ordered. Well, actually, maybe it has been ordered when you watch this video, depending on how good our first appointments were um, happening, you know, um, how good they turned out. Um, but, you know, we are not really too much in a hurry. Um, we have a couple of months uh, of time and the earliest would be March of next year that the kitchen can be delivered anyway, so there's still quite some time. But um, since I want to plan the whole house, I have to start early, obviously, and also, you know, with the current delivery issues uh, across the whole globe, uh, it's always good to start on early. And also, um, you know, I got a wife and... <laughs> Uh, you know, it's um, it's not a decision for like two weeks or so. It's a decision for 20 years, and this decision will will be pretty tough. And um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, what we did is we um, we focused on on making sure that you know everyone has a, a good a good feeling, uh, and everything that we did uh, or we chose is um, good for both. Uh, she obviously has a way better eye for certain things, and this is also why you will see um, quite a big change uh, during the build, but I'm also going to uh, show you a bit of a real-time part at the end. So, let me just quickly talk you through um, our current situation. I will actually put a, a, an image of our current um, kitchen in. Um, this will be, um, or this kitchen is actually the one that uh, we planned four years ago and uh, four years ago I did plan that in Blender uh, this time around I did this in Prehistoric Kingdom and it's funny enough because I still have the files from back then um, and I could see how many hours I spent in this file and it's a uh, fun fact I was quicker building that in Prehistoric Kingdom than I was in Blender back in the day it's uh, I think it's you know it's always down to where you feel most confident and I think I would have been even quicker if this would have been Planet Zoo or Planet Cosa because that's like you know you can wake me up at 3 a.m. and I would like build you something uh, without even thinking about this but um, yeah it's really good that this game is so similar to Planet Zoo um, but then again it is different enough uh, to you know get me into some struggles here and there but all over the place um, there are a couple of things we have to talk about uh, regarding Prehistoric Kingdom um, which we will do in a minute so please stick with me if you are interested in into what I'm talking about but first of all let me just quickly get this point across with the kitchen so um, here's a here's an image now of our old kitchen that we planned four years ago and um, this one is a this one is something we really love but unfortunately we had to sell, uh, sell that with us now uh, with the house because well actually as you can imagine, um, such a kitchen is always planned exactly for a certain location and it wouldn't make any sense to take the kitchen apart, you know, things break and it's really meant to be for that place and so we actually sold the kitchen um, nearly without a loss but um, it's it's still, you know, something very emotional because we love our kitchen. Uh, we put a lot of uh, thoughts into it and it's, you know, it's we love to have the kitchen as the center of our life and it's part of the living room so we've got an open kitchen there's just like a wall separating the two uh, but it, everything else is open and we love it because you know you can still take part in what is going on while you're preparing the food while you're taking for the kid uh, while you're doing anything in the kitchen and vice versa with the living room so it's it's a very um, a very wonderful situation and this is something we still want to maintain in the new house and uh, hence I'm planning the exact same thing again. Now there are a couple of things I, I had to you know I had to plan in this time around and um, mostly these are the things that you normally don't think about um, and this is where my wife comes into play because she is she is really really good at these things and I'm speaking of exactly those things like you know in which direction does the you know does this door of this cupboard open and um, where have you where do you have to put some things in order to you know be part of a conversation and uh, if you are cutting onions uh, where would you want to stay and um, if you have like you know if you've got a drawer over here what would you put into that drawer do we actually need a drawer there um, where do we put the sink and and wouldn't the sink be weird on that window because if the sun comes in wouldn't you be blinded and blah 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 so she has a lot of good input um, because of all the things she thinks about and um, for me they are pretty logical but um, I'm going fully for aesthetics first and then 
she's like, yeah, but that makes no sense. Uh, and so that's the reason why I needed to change the kitchen quite a couple of times um, in order to match my vision with uh, her very fair comments. Um, and this, this, for example, over here is uh, the first thing. Um, I wanted to put the, um, like, this is like a huge high um, cupboard with like a huge draw. Uh, like this, is, it's not a draw, but the, the, the gate does actually work like a draw. So you pull that out um, and we call it like an uh, apothecary cupboard. I don't know if that makes like a pharmacist cupboard uh, because the, in the pharmacist, um, you know, they always have these huge draw things. You pull them out and you can, you know, get to them from both sides. And next to it, I put the... Um, I put the oven uh, and the microwave and uh, she was like, yeah, now good idea, but how do you want to stand there and what's going on if you want to go to the lower cupboard and blah, blah, blah. And she got a point there, you know, she got a point there. But before we talk about the finished result, uh, this is a good point now to talk about Prehistoric Kingdom as a game um, at the moment because I'm using that basically like a render software uh, <laughs> uh, other than uh, as a game. But I have a couple of things um, that stood out to me and this is, it seems that the, the, the game has a hard time with lighting at this point, like with rendering light. I'm really not too happy with the shading uh, and with the lighting. As, as great as the game looks outside in the normal sun, it looks pretty weird indoors. And honestly though, even with lights and stuff, I wasn't able to really make something good looking and it really does not match the colors that you choose for the items. I'm not sure what exactly that is. Um, and I wish that we will have some more textures and the textures also have a, maybe like a bit of a different scaling to them. Like a couple of things, it seems like they, um, uh, took a step back. Maybe they even did, I don't know. I haven't been following it too closely, I guess. But maybe they needed to take a step back because of the performance issues they were having. Um, uh, maybe if I, you know, if, if you guys have played the game more than I have and uh, there have some notes in the forums that I haven't done, please don't get me wrong, um, you know, it's fair enough, but I haven't seen that. I just wanted to um, let you know that this was a bit confusing um, because it was really hard to get a good image um, also for the thumbnail. Uh, that just kind of resembles what I was actually building in there. You will see that later on in the um, in-game part. It's looking good though, but it really feels like there are some anti-aliasing issues, some edge detection issues, some flimmering here and there, and also like the lighting overall looks a bit weird. But I'm just talking about indoors, you know, outdoors everything is fine. It seems also that they have fixed the issue with the depth of field um, in terms of, you know, I, a couple of months ago when I played the game last time, um, it, it always looked weird in the far distance that it almost seemed like there was no polygons in anything anymore and it was all looking very broken, um, but it was kind of an effect. I don't know what exactly that was, but yeah. So it turned out that they fixed this at least, so I was very happy with that. And uh, now we are already getting into the change of the kitchen, by the way. Uh, you can see that I'm placing uh, some of the, the cupboards on a different side and then we come in with our uh, fridge, which actually is our fridge. Uh, this is not a made up one. This is exactly the fridge we have. It's basically our baby. Um, we spend way too much money on that one. One, but we definitely wanted to have this one. Um, it is not only great looking, but we, like, in hindsight, the money was more than worth it because we took this one because it had energy level A+. Now, you can have a lot of these side-by-side -side fridges out there, but they are sucking up energy like crazy. Like, they are like, give me the power of your entire universe. Thank you, it's two degrees. It's really insane. Um, and we were actually looking into one that is super power efficient. Um, and with the current global situation, you can imagine how much of a great idea that was. Um, so it really has a, a huge impact to our uh, power consumption. It improved our situation dramatically over the old uh, fridge. Um, and so it's also, it's, it's not only fridge, it's also the freezer, you know, both in one. And so it's not only more efficient than the old fridge, it's also making the, uh, you know, the, the freezer completely uh, unnecessary. So saving on two occasions at the same time is pretty dope. Uh, and I'm uh, still a big fan of this one. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like it's it's one of the coolest things we have in our, in our flat over here. And this is most likely, this is um, not most likely, 100% this one is uh, making the move with us into the into the new home um, but yeah so as you can see over here I'm putting the induction uh, cooking field down is that, is that the same as you say in English induction so we're not going to go for a gas powered um, 
cooking station like many people like that but i'm not the biggest fan of the gas one to be honest also since we are trying to be 100 percent into renewable energies and stuff it makes no sense um but we want to have one with this kind of uh, air duct in the middle that just kind of sucks the uh, air in um or like the it's the air steam whatever is coming off your food when you boil it um and not the one overhead anymore like we had a pretty decent one in our old flat here in the, the account run but it just never matched the uh, aesthetics of this wonderful middle ones. Uh, it's just like a design decision, not gonna lie. Uh, the, the other ones are doing the job perfectly fine. They look almost the same um, as like another design piece and they, they look way better than they used to look a couple of decades ago. So all good. But this time around, as they are not as expensive anymore, we definitely want to have such a such a cooking station as well. As you can see, I'm putting some of the handles down. Um, they might not be the final design though it's just like so that when we go to a planning studio they know where we want to have them uh, it's fun story by the way in our old kitchen my wife has a um, ability to always choose the most expensive products like you, you you put 10 products in front of her and all of them look nearly identical and she will still be able to pick the the one most important uh, expensive one <clears throat> no doubt about this she is absolutely genius in that and now, when we were planning the kitchen four years ago, um, that was pretty hilarious because, um, like, honestly, these, these kind of handle thingies, they are not the, the item, you know, that makes it do or die. I just don't care. It should look simple, clean, and that's about it. And, you know, I don't really think too much about it. But um, I'm also, by the way, I'm not even sure if I'm using the right word here. Let me just quickly Google the word. Not, I have the feeling it's not the right word. Um, let me just quickly check. Sorry. Oh no, it is a handle. Oh no way. I, I was I was actually correct. Um, cool. So yeah, um, I I always thought you know that um, they are pretty boring. They just have to look simple, and that's about it. Like I don't want to even have a conversation about these things normally. But the difference in price was just so ridiculous from one to the other that we were like, oh yeah, we can save up to a thousand euros by choosing a different model of handles. Well then. We might do this, right? Um, I don't know why, but these, these, the ones that my wife uh, chose the first time, I think they were like 80 to 90 bucks per piece or something. Uh, and, you know, granted, you need to have like 20 or 25 of them in your kitchen. Yeah, that makes a difference, right? So, um, yeah, that was quite funny. Anyhow, so we are nearly done with the time lapse. So let's jump over into the actual game and show you around, especially also what I meant with the lighting issues. All right, there we are in the real-time part. As you can see, this is our wonderful kitchen and you can uh, directly or immediately see what I meant with the graphics. So there are a couple of things, like it really looks like as if anti-aliasing is basically disabled. I really do hate these kind of edges being that fuzzy, is that the right word? I think fuzzy is kind of a fitting word. But uh, you know, for the sake of the build, I think it's totally fine. You can see this is this is the kitchen uh, where it will be located in this huge uh, area in there. Um, I can actually, you know, well, I'm just going to click a, quickly do one thing. Um, I'm just selecting all these things over here. Um, let me just do this, awesome. And we're gonna move these out because I don't need them internally here. Um, and then we can just disable that so I can show you around. So this is our living room space. This is the chimney in the middle, which is going to be made very nice. We will pay, basically do that in the next episode. The next episode will focus on the entire living space indeed. Um, so this, this window, for example, will move. It's gonna be over here and this will be like an old, uh, old school, big old uh, kind of a window to go out. Um, and then this will be the chimney over here. This wall is going to be taken down. Uh, so this room over here is going to be connected to the living room to even open up more space. Uh, this is the, the one wall we can still you know uh put down we need to leave something over here as like a wall for the you know for the stability of the house but we can still open that up um and then this is going to be also like a big window over here because that's where the uh terrace is and um yeah so this is basically it but yeah i'm going to show you real quick what my basic issue was so you can see from over here it's looking kind of neat it's looking nice but the colors are really not good so over here you've got like a greenish color it basically looks like black over here um but as soon as i'm going to do this in 
like a nighttime situation. I'm gonna go to here. Uh, you can basically see a lot better what this kitchen is all about. So um, this upper area over here shall not be that dark. This is actually white in terms of color and I don't know why it creates such a weird color. I'm just gonna quickly show you. Um, so the color is full white. This is just ridiculous. I really don't know why this, this should be white. So you can see with the right lighting, you get a kind of nice white color, but this is also like way too gray over here. Um, so this should be white, but I, I found it a very nice idea to have this um, ceiling come down a tiny bit to frame the kitchen a bit nicer. Um, also, we have these lights over here sunken down into it. So this is also why this is like double, um, yeah, like a double effect so the one thing is you you know put the, the ceiling down a little to frame the kitchen but then again these lamps also fit in way better and you can make them seamless and so that they not uh, do stick out a little bit and yeah so this is the kitchen basically having the cooking field over here uh, where you stand over here do your cooking stuff you can watch the left there's like the living room if you want to chop some onions here like chuck, 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 you can do that here take some bezel from the right hand side and you know whatever you need put that in and then you can walk over here and throw that into the oven uh, oven if you want to or into the microwave which is going to be up here um, and if you need something you can grab that from the fridge over here and you know if you need to clean something you can put that in the sink and you know a couple of little things I will actually add so you have a better idea for for the planning though that is that you know there's not really that much more planning uh, needed for for this sake um, but yeah so I really hope you guys like the layout of the kitchen if you have some comments amendments whatever uh, please let me know also we can use this photo mode we have got a little bit more quality in that mode it almost seems like then that you know in this mode the edge detection is kind of nice but yeah so this is basically how it looks and you can see woo! it's so weird how the light like look at that this is like a hard cut over here boom okay it's when the lights turned on and off <laughs> okay obviously there's a hard cut then uh, granted that's you know that's how it is also like the darker it gets the greener it gets but you know I'm just gonna keep it that way it's looking kind of neat taking a photo of that um, as like for a screenshot, hopefully that's nice. I'm not, not, not sure where exactly I'm gonna go. I can also keep this like a little bit more out. I think this is looking pretty dope if I do this that way. I could, you know, take a shot like that. I think it's it's fairly decent the way it goes. Um, also, I tried to resemble some of the ideas we have about the tiles, but this is not really, hopefully not as if they will look, but you know, at least we will have some tiles in the living room. I think it's gonna look decent though. Yeah, that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you still enjoy the house build. Um, you know, from all of your comments, I'm very happy that you're interested. So please let me know if there's anything else I can talk about. So let me know about that. But anything else, have a good time, stay safe and goodbye.